waiting for participants to join. Hello, everybody there? Hello. How are you, Romeo? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How's everything today? Uh, repeat. Excuse how, me. How is everything? How are you doing? Ah. Ah, no. It's, uh, I, uh, I had a normal day for me. to uh, Different meetings and... Oh, and uh i i went to the to the bank uh, uh maybe uh, uh do i did uh some some activities in the bank <laughs> oh i see all oh, right oh, how Many... do you say uh diligencia or right or oh yeah good there is a there is an expression uh run errands you can use this. Run okay. uh, errands. Mm -hmm. I run, run errands. Okay. So, so you ran many errands. Yeah, that's like uh, doing uh, como hacer mandados, something similar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. It, it works. It, it helps. Yes. It's All new right. For me. <laughs> uh, yeah. Great. Great. Yeah. Let me text the other people. You know, hopefully they're. Join okay. in. Yeah, just give me a second. Okay, great. So, uh, Romulo, today we're going to uh, we're going to have a session mostly for practice uh, we okay. are going to practice uh, we're going to practice connecting words and uh, we will also have uh, we'll also run focus groups and uh, and uh, have a review on everything we've done today we'll do some exercises uh, from uh, from our platform also it's important that we start working on our meet uh, on our midterm. That's okay. uh, that's what we what we're doing as well. So we have to do a midterm as well. So we got to study for it. Okay, we're gonna look at it and 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 uh, do part of it as a as a class. All right, we're gonna okay. do some exercises together. All right. So let's let us begin. All right, first. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Go, go ahead. Ready. Yeah. All right, you ready? Hey, how's the weather? How's the weather where you live? Ah, uh, no, uh, uh, all day uh, uh, it, it, it was raining. It was raining. Yeah. yeah. Just like and in the, here. In the temperature, this. Uh, it, uh, it's well, uh, more comfortable. <laughs> yeah, it, it's better to work this way. It was it's cooler, right? Days mm -hmm. are days are so much cooler. I like okay. it. I like it this way. It's better. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Great. Great. So well, let's go ahead and uh, and uh, and uh, begin. So in uh, hello Omar, how are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm I'm great, really great. I'm All very right. tired, but I'm uh, great. All right, a little tired though. Yeah. Okay, I see. I see. Well, don't worry. You know, it's it's 
it's normal you know it, it happens we have lots of things to do at work and uh, and uh, it, it is normal to be tired especially at this point in the week especially now after a lot of work and lots of things to do oh yeah we do need a break yeah we need a break after all all of the things we have done today and so far great so you guys now, were sorry and uh, no nothing nothing uh, okay all right so don't i thought you were about to say something nope you weren't you weren't okay great so uh yeah we're gonna first we're gonna check uh we're gonna check on uh, at, at a video about um about uh about connectors so we will first work on connectors of addition okay so uh we're gonna check on how some people use them some uh linking words of addition and uh, then we will also work on our own sentences and also uh, paragraphs, all right? So let's begin with that, all right? Let's have a quick look at this video. Let me share my screen. Please be ready to take notes. If this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell so you will not miss any of our videos. Extra Linking Words, Part 2 B. Linking Words Showing Addition Forms 1. In addition, besides that, additionally, moreover, furthermore, plus sentence Examples In addition, she writes emails, she sends letters He ate a sandwich, besides that he drank an orange juice. Two, in addition to, besides, as well as, plus noun infinitive, plus ing sentence. Example, in addition to going to the club, we went to the restaurant. Three, a noun plus, as well as, along with, together with, besides, plus a noun, plus verb to be, plus adjective. Example, my sisters as well as my brother are tall. Four, a noun. A All right, let's take it easy, buddy. We'll, we're going to review the ones we checked in class. Showing right? addition. Forms. One, in addition, besides that, Additionally, moreover, furthermore, plus sentence. Examples. In addition, she writes emails. She sends letters. He ate a sandwich. Besides that, he drank an orange juice. All right, so here you see that we join, we put together two sentences. All right. We, uh, we join two sentences that are somewhat connected that you know have uh, some kind of correlation so here uh, somebody is talking about his or her routine so uh, he ate a sandwich besides that he drank an orange juice uh, here for example in addition she uh, writes emails sends letters so this is to give more information, all right? These words are useful. Emails. To give information. She sends letters. He ate a sandwich. Besides that, he drank an orange juice. Two, in addition to, besides, as well as, plus, noun, infinitive. Okay, we're going to stick to these ones because the other ones are probably 
a little more complex. Oh yeah, we ho we also have as well as. So let's check on this one. Plus ing sentence. Example. In addition to going to the club, we went to the restaurant. Three, a noun plus as well as, along with, together with, besides, plus a noun, plus verb to be, plus adjective. Example, my sisters as well as my brother are tall. All right, so you see here? my sister as well as my brother are tall this as well as means something similar to also all right but uh we place this in a different order this goes in the middle of a sentence all right you got it so it goes between subjects like, uh, for example, uh, for example, we can say Omar as well as uh, as well as uh, as well as Romulo were early to class. All right. So it's between the two subjects. You see my point? Okay. There? Okay. All right. Yep. Yeah, that's how it works. And uh, and uh, when we use in addition, for example, besides. And, and besides, uh, we usually put this in the middle at the beginning of a sentence, separated by a comma, like uh, we saw in the in the previous uh, in the previous lesson. And uh, then we add more information. All right. So, for example, when we are describing our our uh, our experience, or or when we are talking about uh, uh, when we are talking about our life our job you know our profile you can you can say you can you can start saying uh, i am a i am a teacher and i have uh, had 10 years of experience um, i have worked with many companies in addition i have also travel i have traveled to the united states for training and uh, that's how you use it so in addition works to add more information and the they mean it means the same as moreover, right? Let's take a look at more examples here. Oops, mute. Club, we went to the restaurant. Three, a noun plus as well as, along with, together with, besides, plus a noun plus verb to be plus adjective. Example, my sister. A noun along with plus a noun sentence. Example. Nadia, along with her cousins, is spending next weekend out. Five. We use also as well to in affirmative sentences. Examples. She visited her uncle. She also visited her grandpa. Oh, right. You see, you see how this one works? Also, look, uh, I was telling you the last time about also. Usually, also goes in the middle of the sentence. Mm -hmm. All right. Yep. Good. So uh, let's, let's now try to make an example using also. All right. Look at this one. She visited her uncle and she also visited her grandpa so now let's make uh, let's make some sentences using this uh, this connector also remember also goes in the middle so let's go ahead and uh, share an example in the chat please you can share it in the chat or you can also uh, you can also turn your microphone on and, and talk all right so let's as share. well as well what meaning of as well oh as well is uh, similar to also to also but it goes in the middle of two subjects like for example two people like i said uh Romulo as well as as well as omar were in class on time on time okay so mm. between the two subjects yes all right 
Great. Yeah, let's let's keep going here. Oh, examples about also, please. Please. Anybody? Anybody? <sighs> mm. Okay. Um, uh, my my cat joy jump uh, very tall. Very no high. Yeah. Very high. high and and uh, our uh, uh, um, cat and my cat also. Um, I don't know. <laughs> it. Uh, you can I say know, it do. also eats a lot. For for example. Remember, we refer to the same subject, all right? So uh, I can say something similar about my dog. My dog, uh, do my dog barks a lot. She also eats a lot, all right? It's the same subject, but I am uh, I make I make uh, I make two sentences, and in the second sentence, I I use the also, the connector also, all right? Great. Anybody else? Uh, more examples using also. Yes, go ahead, please. Every day I wake up uh, early. Also, I take a breath early too. All right, good. All right. I also, uh, you can say, I also take an early breakfast. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, but, but that's good. That, that is good. All right, great. Yeah. And uh, here we have uh, Mario's example. Here we have, we're in English class improving our speaking. We, oh, we also are improving our listening. Good. Okay. That is, yeah, that is true. That, that's how it works. I like it. Very good. Very good. So uh, let's, let's continue here. All right. So also, yeah, keep it in mind. Wait. There is something wrong in here. Okay. Equals, she visited her uncle. Also, she visited her grandpa. She visited her uncle. She. Just one second. Arana, can you keep your microphone yeah. off, please? All right, good. Here we go. Visited her grandpa, too, as well. Six, we use either in negative sentences. Example. All right, these ones are about something else. We will not... Uh, We'll not review them now, but uh, but now we what we are going to do is this: we are going to use these words for making sentences about ourselves, okay? About our careers, about our lives. So let's go ahead and uh, check one more time the connectors we studied in the previous lesson. Okay, so we looked at this one, right? We looked at these ones. First, second, first of all, furthermore, also, in addition, and moreover, all right? So uh, what we're going to do is uh, making, making, uh, making four sentences using these words, and we are going to share them uh, share them with the class. Hey, don't forget. Yeah, let me see. Neither uh, sister got married in September. As well, my dad got engaged. A, a little running, but yeah, that's good. That's good. All right. So now we're going to make sentences about ourselves, okay? About our career. And uh, we are going to use these connectors. Let me give you an example. All right, let me give you an example about, about mine, all right? So, uh, for example, I can say I have uh, worked as 
uh, right, hang on. So I have worked as a teacher for six years, for six years. Furthermore, furthermore, uh, comma, don't forget the punctuation. I have been an instructor, an instructor for INSAFOR programs. For INSAFOR programs. This is, these, uh, all of this is going to the chat, okay? So that's how you make one of these sentences, all right? If you want to use the word, uh, the word also, remember to put it like in the middle of two subjects. It can be at the beginning, it's okay. Some people use it at the beginning, it's no problem. But let's go ahead and work it out, all right? So please, let's use these words. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna share this uh, picture one more time in the chat. So you can have them and uh, we're going to make sentences using it. All right. Fine. So let's share that picture with you all so you can see it. There you go. All right. Great. So now that you have that picture with you, Please, uh, let's go ahead and uh, make sentences about ourselves, about our experience, okay? Like a little bio. We're going to do something like a little bio, like a little biography using this. All right, good. Let's go ahead and share and uh, see your sentences. You can, re uh, you, you can uh, type them in the chat just to remember them, but you will read them. For the uh, for the class, all right, great, great guys. Any questions? Any questions so far? Hello, hello. Any questions? Nope. All good. Welcome to the ones who recently joined. Yes. So let's continue. Let's go ahead and uh, make our four sentences. Four sentences using these connecting words. All right, good. Great, let's see. Right. If you happen to have any question down the road, uh, let me know. So here's a mess. Here's a message. I'm in the English class. I also got dinner. Oh, you can say I am also having dinner, right? Right now, like you're having dinner too. I am also having good, good. 
you just you're just missing three. Good job, Jonathan. Very good. All right, great. Got another alert. Another message here. All right, I work in a clinic and also I work in a company. Okay, great. Great, good job, uh, Mary. Yeah. Like it, like it. Right, good, good. Let's keep checking on your sentences. Let's keep checking on it. Anybody else? Let's see. Oh, all right, got another. After that, I. I start work. Yes. Good, good. I like that one too. Very good. So here we're using a uh, sequence, right? We're using sequence too. That's good. And I also eat healthy. Great, great, very good. That is a good sentence in every way. All right. First of all, I wanted to study English. Moreover, I want to learn Korean. Mm-hmm. All right, yeah, that sounds good. That sounds good. All right. So that's Claudia. Claudia, you want to you want to learn Korean? Yes, I want yeah. to. You want to? All right, that's good. That's good. Korean is a, is a, I think it's a nice language, but it's probably one of the most difficult ones. Yes, like Chinese, Ooh, Chinese. Japanese. Yeah, Chinese is a really, really tough one too. All right, yeah. All right, now just uh, one, one more thing about these uh, transition words, just for you to keep it in mind, and this is, really 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 important so we don't misuse it okay it it's really important to to know this so we don't make mistakes when uh when using connecting words and this is what i wanted to what i wanted you to look at all right uh please mary can you read about first of all yes Sorry, I typed another, but it's, oh, okay. Okay. it's okay. Okay, go ahead. No, 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 no. Um, first of all, tell you to look for the first main point. Mm -hmm. For for it. Yes. Mm -hmm. all right. That is that is first of all. So, for example, I think that is he. Um, First of all, look at this uh, simple paragraph we read last class. First of all, women shoppers use their five senses to shop, okay? So they are saying reasons why, store, uh, why, uh, why women shoppers use, uh, use their knowledge to design this, uh, their store or why store, store owners uh, arrange their stores according to women's needs and the first okay. reason of all of them is that one so we say first of all for example let's imagine all right let's imagine you are not 
really happy with your internet service. All right. Let's imagine you're not very happy with your internet service. Now, now. Is it, is it really happening to you? Okay, great. Yes. So now I want you to name three bad things that have happened with your internet service. The connection, the service, and the call center. <laughs> okay, all right. So first the connection, okay. Yes. All right, then mm. uh, the a service. The service. All right, yes. and finally, the call center, the customer yes. service. So, so for example, let's imagine you're not, you're not talking, well, you can do it while talking too. Let's imagine you, you speak to a manager or you address your, your problem to a manager. So you tell the manager, uh, first of all, my connection is very low. I'm paying for five megabytes, but I'm getting only three uh second or second of all second of all mm -hmm. third, second second of all uh my connection goes down very quickly and very repeatedly for example yesterday uh i was disconnected from my english class meeting and third uh i called customer service but the rep, uh, but your agents are very rude so if you see we have three points we use first of all only when we are when we are given uh, many points or many reasons all right you see you see how it is used so first of all it's the first one it's the one that goes on top and then we start reporting second and giving examples and elaborating our sentences we can also say something like furthermore. Thanks, Mary. Let's ask Claudia. Claudia, tell us about for example, please. Claudia. 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 Oh, all right. Let's ask. Let's ask. Oh, here, there you are. What happened to your audio? Yes, but I don't understand what you want. Uh, yeah, sorry, do. sorry. Read this as uh, read about, uh, for example. Okay. For example, tells you to look for an example of the previous point. Okay. All right. Great. Hey, as I told you, uh, we had uh, Mary's uh, Mary's example of uh, of her bad internet. Okay. So uh, she said that. Uh, she gets this, uh, she has a uh, connection problems. For example, yesterday I was disconnected from the meeting. All right, all right, you see that one? All right, good. Uh, continue reading the next one, please, um, Claudia. Therefore tells you that this is a result. All right, good, good. So therefore it tells you that something is a result. All right, good. So now we're gonna ask, we're gonna ask uh, somebody else to read this sentence. Uh, Romulo, can you read it please? Uh, we're gonna start from, for example, all right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Until? Or... Until this, until shop. Okay. Right, so it's uh, all of this. Yeah. Oh, this, yes. For example, they want to touch and feel fabrics and visualize themselves in clothes. Therefore, owner of women, women's clothing shop plays clothes, clothes with lots of, excuse me, teaching, with lots of frills and luxury fabrics at the front of the shop. Chop. Uh huh. Great. All right. So, look, they want to touch and feel fabrics and visualize themselves in the cloud, in the in the in the clothes. Therefore, you know, as a result, as a yeah. result of this, honors place clothes like the most uh, fashionable, the most 
uh, the the fanciest clothes in the in the in the entrance. So they they're placed in the entrance. So they are they buy them first. All right. So therefore, it shows a result. All right. Thank you. Then uh, I think uh, Mario is in. Mario, are you there? Hello. Yes. Can you read about furthermore and moreover? Furthermore and moreover tells you to look for another similar idea. All right. Thank you. And uh, uh, look at this. Read a, read a, uh, read this one. Furthermore, they place items near one another to allow the woman to visualize, visualize, uh -huh. visualize, then visualize them together as an outfit. Okay, good. So uh, that's another. Furthermore, adds a similar idea. All right. Furthermore, adds a similar idea. Look, they said that the they honors place the clothes, the most uh, fashionable clothes at the front. And furthermore, they place near, they place uh, items near one another to allow women to visualize them together as an outfit. Hey girls, do you do that when you go to a, to a clothing store? Like uh, you, for example, you see a dress. Oh, whoa, look, what a beautiful dress. You get it on. But next to it, you look at accessories and you see a color and you get the color on. And then you see, a sh you see the shoes and you get them on. Do you girls do that? Girls, do you do that? Do you do that? Mm, maybe yes, maybe no. Well, that's that's uh that is a market that is a marketing strategy and the look with the word furthermore we added that idea of first putting the best uh clothes in the front and then putting them close or uh near each other so they try them as an outfit which may will make them buy more all right good uh please now uh let's read the next uh read about the next connector it is can you please it is hi hello can you read this one please okay on the other hand tells you to look for a contrasting or opposite idea. All right, good, good. So, uh, for example, for example, you can uh, you can say, um, traveling traveling by bus can be very annoying. On the other hand, traveling uh, traveling by plane is very pleasant two opposite ideas on the other hand. All right, you got that one? All right, good, good. We're about to check on that. So let's ask, uh, let's ask Andrea to give us an example using on the other hand. Andrea? Hi. Hello. Hi. You can't hear me? You can hear me? Yes, we can. Yesterday, uh, mm. I came cooking. I, I couldn't, all right? I, ah, I couldn't cooking. <laughs> Cook and cook. All right. On the other hand, in the other hand, I want to. 
I want to eating pupusa. Um, remember two opposite ideas, two very very opposite ideas. All right, all right. Mm -hmm. Let's keep thinking, and and I'll get back to you. Um, let's see, let's see. Um, here we have. Uh, Aleda, what about you? Can you give us an example using on the other hand? Here you say you give two very different ideas. Like for example, uh, I don't know, probably men are very, are very boring. You can say men are very boring. Women on the other hand are very emotional, for example. So let's do it. Please give us an example too. Aleta is hardworking. <laughs> All right, good. And Andrea, um, and on the other hand, Andrea is very lazy. <laughs> oh, it, that is a that is a good sentence. <laughs> Probably not a good example, but it is a good. Good sentence. example. Is a good example, but is it true, Andrea? It's false. It, it's false. All right, got you. So that's how you use on the other hand. Two very different ideas, two total opposites. All uh, right, uh, very good. So uh, now let's uh, check on the word uh, for instance. I think this is this is self-explanatory. You can use it as for example, right? So um, uh, you you I I can say something like I I love uh, Asian food. For example, uh, for instance, I enjoy sushi very much. All right, or uh, I I work I work out very often. Yes. For, for instance, I spent I spent one hour exercising. For instance, for instance, yes. All right, now uh, let's hear an example using for instance. Jonathan, can you please? Okay, um, I like to uh, do the exercise or, mm -hmm. uh, for instance, uh, I work work in room uh, 30 minutes. Uh, you work out for? 30 minutes. 30 minutes today, 30 minutes. right? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, that's that's good. So you can say I love exercising every day. For example, uh, for instance. All right, good. I like it. And uh, uh, then here we have uh, here we have as a result. As a result, let's see how they use it here, just to have some content uh, context. All right, this goes like this. Please. Arabella, are you there? Arabella, are you still here? I'm, I'm here. Okay, please go ahead and read uh, the highlighted sentences. Okay, they want all shirts together over here and all pants together over there. As a result, men's clothing Clothing store, clothing stores are arranged very differently from women. From women's, okay, from great. From women. Yeah, women's. Now, we are seeing here uh, that uh, men shop differently. We are very straight. We don't, uh, we only buy what we need and we don't look for something else. So if I wanna, if I go shopping for uh, for shoes, straight to get my shoes. I don't get sandals. All right, and uh, the shop is arranged in that way. All right. So as a result, a men's clothing store. As a result of this idea, men's clothing stores are arranged very differently from women. So. Now let's see, let's think about this. Uh, 
I can say, for example, uh, yesterday it rained all day. As a result, my clothes didn't get dry. Now, please, let's give an example having the idea of consequence. Please, it's your turn. Um, Go ahead, Omar, will you? Yeah, for example, Tom died as a result of an accident. Okay, don't die as a result of an accident. Mm, it, what we do is join in sentences. An accident is just, uh, just uh, a noun. So, but it's okay, it's okay. Now try to make it with sentences. Like, um, I don't know, like for example, uh, Juan had an accident. As a result, uh, his car was damaged. All right, mm -hmm. but your but your sentence was it was a nice try. It was a nice try. Very good. All right, teacher. Yes, Ana Lilian, I have welcome. One. <laughs> yes, go ahead, please. Okay, I have one. I don't know if it is fine, but I like to eat pupusas on the dinner. As a result, I have uh, some pounds more, or something like that. I have <laughs> I, I have gained some weight. Uh huh. All right. Good, good. <laughs> because uh, it's true. No more to eat. True. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I have gained gain some weight. Oops. Uh huh. Pounds. But it's a, as a result, huh? Yeah, yeah. Good. It makes sense because idea number one is the cause of mm -hmm. idea number two, which is its consequence. Because uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great, great. Very good. Let's keep giving examples, guys. Uh, we checked on this already. We checked on, on, on what they mean. And uh, in the, it's very important to understand them. Now let's keep checking on your examples of a, of a, of a, of a career, of your career. All right. <laughs> so let's keep checking on them, please. Please, please, please. If you have more sentences to share, I think Omar shared one here in the chat. Let's uh, check on his. All right, I was very happy as, as a result. I went shopping. All right, that's good, Andrea. Mm -hmm. Yep, yesterday. Good job, good job. As a result, I went shopping. All right. Good, good. Let's keep see, keep checking. Any other examples? Yeah, I got a sun uh, sunburn. Yes. All right. As a result of that, you got a sunburn. All right. Very good. You can also say, "So I had a sun uh, a sunburn." Great. Very good, guys. Very good. So, uh. In the following, oops, let's see, another chat, another chat here. As a, oh, I like this one. I worked very hard. As a result, I was promoted. Love it, love it, that's really good. That's very good. Yes, I like that one. All right, uh, very good guys. So I think uh, we, we're going to do a, a short group work activity as soon as we finish with this one, all right? I had, I studied, I studied for, I, for six years as a result, I have a career, yeah? Great, great, you have a, a degree, right? A degree, great, I like it, very good guys. Very good. All right. Any other any other ideas over here? All right. Here we say I studied. I studied for six years. All right, good. Well guys. I studied for six years. All right. Uh very good. Very good. So now we are going 
two, uh, we are going to write together in a small group about this topic. And we're going to write about marriage. We're going to write about marriage. Okay, marriage. So, uh, you are going to give your ideas about why, what makes a successful marriage, okay? That is, that is, uh, that is your, 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 let's say your controlling idea. You see, what makes a successful marriage? A successful marriage. That is pretty much your, your topic. So together with a group, you put your ideas together and please, use the connectors we studied together here these ones first of all for example therefore furthermore and moreover on the other hand uh for instance and as a result so let's put together our ideas about what makes a successful marriage and let's see how that works all right uh, so think about those things like, for example, communication and, uh, and all of that. Give examples, all right? So you can say, uh, furthermore, blah, blah, blah. For example, this and this, all right? So let's go ahead and uh, work in small groups and put together our ideas about what makes a successful marriage. All right, great. Here we go. We're gonna work in groups, and what are we gonna do in our small groups, uh, Mario? We are going to build some sentence using these connectors. Mm -hmm. And uh, what is uh, what is what are your sentences about? It's going to be about the, what makes a successful marriage. All right, what makes a successful marriage? Please. Try to put all, all sentences together into a paragraph. All one block, all one, all one set of sentences. So they have to be all together like this, like, uh, like uh, this one over here. Look, it's all one set of sentences. Todo está en un solo bloque. So let's do that. All right. Great. Hang on. How many people are there? All right, good. So let's go ahead and work together. Please accept your invitation. Claudia, let's join our group. Claudia. Claudia, all right, I'll go check on the other groups. First, about the how or what make a successful marriage. And 
after we try to write a block with the connector, use a virtuous all, for example, therefore, furthermore, etc. Uh, okay. So we have to make a um, a paragraph. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and we are going to talking about something in special. Do you want? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, I, I, okay, Iris, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it is um, a very important for marriage. It, it was successful. Uh, good communication. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> very. And let's see. And I think uh, the other aspect is the, the, the trust. The respect, yes. Oh, no, trust, trust. Oh, trust, yeah. yeah. That makes sense. The trust will leak. Yeah. Trust, <laughs> yeah. Like it, all right, those are your main ideas, right? Trust, yeah. respect, and uh, what's the other? What? So now uh, let's make complete sentences and put them together. Okay. Yeah. Good. All right. Let's put our those ideas together in a in the paragraph. Like, uh, for example, say there are. There are three things that make a marriage successful. Um, first of all, uh, communication, all right? And you say, uh, for instance, a couple has to have one meal together, right? All right. Okay. Yeah, that's it. That, that's how you work it out, first of all. Furthermore, then uh, and and you start start adding more ideas, but I think you 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 have a, a a good direction of what you're doing. All right, cool. Let's go and check on the other groups. Share screen. Okay. Highboard there. Okay. Oops. All right. Good. You have okay. a whiteboard. All right, cool. The first. Uh, no, the marriage, the marriage, the most important. This is uh, mm -hmm. the most important, most important. Uh huh. No, sorry. The marriage, first of all. The marriage. Uh-huh. Huh? First of all. The most important. It's love, uh-huh. All right, that sounds good. Okay. There, a point, uh, Yo therefore, creo que para, para alargarlo un poquito lo vamos a explicar, creería yo, para que después okay. uh, pongamos un conector. Uh-huh, makes okay. sense. Okay. Makes sense that way, Omar. Uh, Necesito mi teléfono, la de 
uh, as a secular people. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Good. Well, yes. yes. Looks like you uh, have very good ideas. Okay. Eh, ¿Qué más le podemos agregar? Anything else? Hmm. Therefore, I... Aquí va punto, no, verdad? Solo aquí Therefore... va. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or. Uh, you can say second or maybe therefore or also uh -huh. second. Yep. second the communication all right there you go good very good very good all right i'll go check on the other guys okay it looks like it's taking a good direction okay sir among budget among amount budget but Come on, budget. Do you have a healthy, healthy dinner? Okay. First of all, they need mutual respect and also it's necessary to have an stable finance. For instance, you have monthly budget to have healthy finance. Yes. Yes. Um, also, we have this is, is, is very important. Uh, 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 Enjoy in family or with family or with to husband. Or I think husband. Uh, what you're or saying more. is uh, like quality yeah. time, right? Quality oh, okay. time. Uh -huh. Como tiempo de calidad, right? uh -huh. quality. It's important to have quality time. Furthermore, okay. is. Hey guys, uh, I have to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have everybody out of the their groups because I have to run attendance. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, teacher. All right. Thank you. Okay. Shane, how are you? How are you, teacher? Doing great. It's good to have you. Thanks. All right. Good. Nobody here. Yeah, I mean everybody. Actually, everybody is in is in in class. But uh, thing is that they are they are in in groups. Oh, okay. Just I'm gonna have you have them back in just a second. Okay, this. All right, good. I sent them uh I sent them the a message and I will have them back now. All right, so let's just wait for them. They'll be back soon. Okay, I wait, teacher. All right, great. Thank you. Thank you. Is everybody back? Everybody getting back? All right, good guys. Uh, let's go ahead and run attendance.
All right. So everybody's back. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to run attendance only. Then uh, you guys continue working on your paragraph. All right. So uh, please respond, uh, respond with a present when you hear your name. Okay, great. Jose Enrique de la O Salazar. Jose is not here, I think. Okay. Jose, no. Number pen. Okay, great. Katia Maria Soriano de Santa Maria, no asiste. Gladys Aminta Galdames Marino, tampoco existe. Ana Grisela Iglesias Hernández, tampoco existe. Rómulo Pompilio Romero Torres. Present, teacher, present. Man is here. All right. It is Dorotea Sánchez Figueroa Acevedo. It is. Yeah, I remember it is was here. Just mark here. Uh, Claudia Evelyn Hernández. Thank you. Present. Thank you. Maria Belen Quintanilla Barquero. Present. Thank you. Cesar Vladimir Romero Rugamas. Okay, he's not in the course anymore. Uh, Omar Inmer Gámez Linares. Present. Thank you. Uh, Ana Lilian González de Pedaza. Present. All right. Shane Sohar Demi Cabrera. Present, teacher. Thank you. Arabella Parada Gámez. Present, teacher. All right. Thank you. And uh, Mario Enrique Marquez Celaya. Present, teacher. Thank you. Gloria Beatriz. I'm sorry, teacher. I go out. Uh, uh, oh, that's okay. That's okay. Gloria. Beatriz Elias Alegría Oriana. No, she's not here. Elias Samuel Oriana Perez. Poco. Adolfo Jonathan Rodriguez Parada. I'm here, teacher. Thank Present. you. Aleida Elizabeth Juarez de Guevara. Present. Thank you. Andrea Elizabeth Sigüenza Mejía. Present. Got you. And uh, Camila Calles Minero, she's not here. Okay, uh, well, you guys, we will go back to our groups, okay? Probably, look, probably uh, also more people will be added to your groups, okay? Pueda que tengan un agregado ahí, una persona más. All right? So, yeah, let's return. Do you finish, by the way? Terminaron? No, right? No, right? So, no. Uh, all right, we will return to our group work and then I will send you a new a new classmate there all right so please take the invitations and if you're not in a group you will be sent to one Shane you're assigned to group number 3 we are writing a paragraph uh, a paragraph about marriage un cuadro porque aquella se había perdido. Mejor, ajá. Uh -huh. okay. Marriage first of all, the most important is love because the love is a commitment only includes to people. Second, important point, creo que hasta aquí va un punto, ¿verdad? Una coma. Is the communication and trust. Hasta ahí punto. Y seguir. Pero ahí podemos agregar trust. algo. Yo creo que ahí podemos... Aquí, ver. Ajá. Porque es muy, muy, es cor muy corto. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Podemos agregar... Vamos a ver, aquí no hay comunicación. Humildad, paciencia, hora, unicidad, comunicación, aquí está. Dice, los cónyuges sanos se comunican. 
hagan lo más posible. Ciertamente discuten los horarios de los niños, las listas de compras, las facturas de servicios públicos, pero no se detienen ahí. También comunican esperanza, sueños, miedos y ansiedades. No solo discuten los cambios que están teniendo lugar en la vida del niño, también discuten los cambios que están teniendo lugar en sus propios corazones y almas. Esta clave esencial no puede pasarse por alta porque la comunicación honesta y franca se convierte en la base de muchas otras cosas en nuestra lista. Compromiso, paciencia y confianza. Por okay. solo nombrar algo. Ok. Entonces, okay. ahí podemos, algo. podemos tener algunas ideas, ¿ya? Ajá. Uh -huh. The algo. communication and truth. Um... Voy a poner en inglés por cualquier cosa. Ok, yo, pero yo creo que había más para... Um, no, aquí lo tengo. Ajá, uh -huh. vamos a ver qué. For example, if don't have communication... Um, aquí, eh, for example, o, o, uh -huh. ocuparíamos la palabra que ya... Que decía, por, por ejemplo, que es por instance. Ajá, uh -huh. you can. Great. Ah, yes, yes, yeah. uh -huh. for instance, it's no communication. Um, it's no communication. Uh, uh, for instance, they can talk about their day or they can talk about their problems. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Something like that. Something like yes. that. That's, that's communication, right? That's yes, communication. yes. Sharing your talking about your day, sharing your problems and your, your concerns, your, pre, your preoccupations. Yeah, absolutely. Good idea. Yeah, keep okay, going. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I'll check on the other groups. Okay. Okay. For instance, they talk about the problems and... Knowing all the people the same. At some time. Or sometimes they can't. But if uh, the exists the comprehension or empathy, look in the way, the better way to resolve. Mm -hmm. That's necessity. Yes. Let's see. Yeah. Uh -huh. Listen, have empathy. Listen, uh huh. Besides, yeah. too. Mm -hmm. Voy a votar eso, me voy a morir de mi firma. Ok. We continue, guys. Ideas, please. All right, good. I will check on the other groups. Teacher. Yes. Uh, mujer no es es no like crazy woman. Um, there are so many, there are so many words. Like, um, <laughs> Something, oh, yes, something. Man eater, teacher. If, if that's the problem. That, say again? Uh -huh. A cheater. Yeah, you can say a cheater. <laughs> Just a cheater in general. And you refer to both men and women. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you refer to both men and women. But yeah, there are so many words. But not all of them are proper for class. Maybe later. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah, good. I'll go check on the on these guys. Yes. Uh, friends. 
An objective. An objective. Objective. Oh, cuando cuando por, propongámonos tener una casa en tres años, algo así, por, en los casos que no no hay, ¿verdad? And go. Go. Uh -huh. For instance, for example. For example. Uh -huh. uh, a home. Have a home. Mm -hmm. We'll have a home. Yeah. Yes. I think that's a. In uh, No, yeah. That, no AL. Good. Yeah. I have said marriage is important to trust. Example, we are going to have a coming I mean, to chairs. Um, uh, um, uh, además, eh, eh, ah, quiero ver, yo hablo español, hablo de. <laughs> more over, además se puede decir como more over o como uh, o como furthermore furthermore uh -huh. furthermore um, uh, furthermore uh, uh. come on come on <laughs> Furthermore, have the similar uh, creencias <laughs> Me, uh, because I, I have a children, but my husband, no, no children, never. All right, he's never but, had children. <laughs> never had children. Maybe, but if both, ambos both, uh, have children, then uh, it's better. Better. Both mm -hmm. agreed. <laughs> oh, so it's better if you both agree to have children. Yes. Me sale algo al revés todo, <laughs> yeah, but, but it, it's it, but it's practice, you know. As you practice, you you'll probably overcome it. Oh, uh, the more you practice, the best the best it gets. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Thank right. you. Very good. Yeah. Very uh, much. I agree. If you both agree, both agree, agree as a verb. Agree. Bo, solo no diga are agree solo agree Sin both are. both agree uh -huh. okay agree or have a yeah have things in common yeah that's good i think agree is fine i like it have things yep. common in common common uh it's o o o Oh no. Yeah, that that one. That one, yes. All right. Great. Yeah. Uh, yeah. How much uh, how many sentences? Nine sentences. That I think that is good enough. Uh it looks fine, but it, to me it looks fine. Okay. 
Okay, we finished. <laughs> All right, great, great, very good. Like it. So I, I guess I'm gonna check on the other groups and see if they finished already. They are about to. Okay. Read it and uh, distribute. They were, for example. Mm -hmm. Or yes. No. No, you can. We can use one, um, one structure, and use this word for example. Uh, ah, we can say uh, we need to make a couple time. For example, go to the movie theater. Okay. Uh huh. Or mm -hmm. go to to the to take a dinner out or something like that. And we can use for example in this part. Like it, like it. That's yeah. an awesome idea. And then, uh -huh. yes. Mm -hmm. And we're looking for another one. Mm. And we can say uh, if you. If we are going to use a furniture, we can say furniture, we have a baby city, for example, <laughs> to go out. Mm -hmm. Oh, you have, ah, furthermore, yeah. Uh -huh. for no, for, es afortunadamente. No, furthermore uh, means, uh, furthermore means uh, something like además, like you add more information. Ah, it's the same also. Pero se agrega una oración completa. Por ejemplo, digamos, digamos, decimos, a couple needs to have uh, some time, some quality time. Uh, mm -hmm. Furthermore, they need to, uh, they need to be honest with each other, or mm -hmm. they need, they need some time to talk about their problems. Una uh -huh. idea, cuando se agrega una idea muy parecida a la otra, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. <laughs> y, y se utiliza como, como muy parecido a la palabra además. Algo así. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. okay, thank you. Thank you, guys. Very good. All right. Uh, are you, have you finished? Have you finished? <laughs> The main <laughs> idea, sí, yes. <laughs> No, no, no. It's not really, uh, all right. Hey, uh, yeah, because uh, yeah, you take your time. All right, take your time, and then we read it and share it. And uh, we will also go ahead and uh, and share with the class. Uh, some groups finished already, but you put it together, okay? Put it together, make it sound mm -hmm. beautiful. All right, great. I'll check on the other group, but in uh, probably two min two minutes, we'll go back. And, and share, all right? Okay. Hi. Thank you. Let's see Thank what's you. up in here. So something to add in addition. Ah, okay. Um, what more? What more? Um, and for tomorrow, it's more about the trick of things in common. Um, and in your in we home is is good a uh, both help in home with uh, with uh, como se dice wash the trash como es the trash Lavar los tra es importante ah. que los dos ayuden mm. en la casa. Okay. It's important to help <laughs> housework, right? Housework. Housework. House it's important. Work. Mm -hmm. Housework. Yeah, it's important to help work in the housework. I... To help in the housework. Mm -hmm. Housework is one word. Yeah, it's all one. It's all one word. Oh, okay. It's all one word. Uh, this uh, also built moment. 
with this. No, I don't understand. <laughs> también, we, también we, se construyen momentos con esto. Oh, we have moments, yeah. A moment. <laughs> we have moments. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, well, that that can be that can be one. You have you spend some time together like this. I like the idea. It's very good, guys. Well done. Well done. Okay. All right. You, all right. Yeah, that, that looks good enough. I think. Okay. Yeah. All right. Checking on the last group. No, 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 no. Un componente esencial de un matrimonio saludable es la capacidad de admitir que no eres perfecto, que cometerás errores y que necesitarás el perdón. Mantener una actitud de superioridad sobre su, tu pareja provocará resentimiento y evitará que tu relación avance. Eso es importante, ¿verdad? La humildad. Yeah, humbleness. Ok. Yeah, you have plenty of reasons, so I guess you can just wrap it up with those you have. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, you can just wrap it up with the ones you have and, and probably um, summarize your summarize your your con, your main points with your conclusion. En la conclusión, casi siempre lo que se hace es como es como eh, parafrasear lo que dijo usted al principio. Okay. Verdad, esto, todo esto. Ajá, puede, puede decir, in a, as a conclusion, as a conclusion, uh, love and uh, trust, or, or whatever, love and blah, 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 are very important to make, to have a, hip, a happy marriage. Algo así. Se puede poner así como, se unen todos los puntos al final en una oración, y eso es la conclusión. Okay. Yeah. You, you can do that. Relacionadas, ¿cómo se puede poner? Related, related. Yeah. Um, successful, successful. Yeah, successful. Es doble C, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's... Successful marriage. Yeah, marriage. Ay, aquí me equivoqué. No. Oh. Y aquí doble R. Es necesario que la copia de la lot de support because when you go over coding, over overcome all problems. En humildad, ¿cómo se dice? I think it's humbleness. No. Yes, I think. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, correct. That's it. And patience. Patience. Patience, that's how you say it. Patience. I think. Mm, no, that's that's the people in the hospital. Yes. Patience. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, okay. Patience, mm -hmm. like that. Mm. Uh, tea? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Your inspiration That's it. to Omar. Yeah, he has a lot of it. Good. So yes. I guess with what you have there, you, you can go ahead and uh, and share it. And, and we're gonna go back to the main room and and share our ideas. Okay. Okay. Right. 
drink. Vaya, vamos a, a, a separarnos todos y los vamos. So, all right, great. Now uh, we're going to share our paragraphs. We're going to share our uh, our ideas about what makes a successful marriage. Very good. So uh, we are about to hear from uh, you guys. Yeah, now let's go ahead and uh, hear that from some of you. So a uh, group number one. Yeah, let's begin with group number one. And uh, group number one is uh, Leda's, Anna Lilian's, Iris's, and uh, Romulo's. Please go ahead. Tell us what makes a successful marriage. Okay. <laughs> all right. How the couple make a successful marriage? Go ahead. First of all, the good communication is very important. All right. Who continues? Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, for example, you have to make a couple time to go to the movie theater or take a dinner out or make time to stay together because it's very important. Yeah, let's keep going. Okay, next. <laughs> on, the, on the other hand, if you are unfaithful, are you going to divorce? You're going to divorce. Oopsies. All right, yeah, let's keep going. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, um, the empathy and and doesn't be selfish as a result of a true love. Okay. Empathy is not being selfish and it's the result of a true love. I like that idea. Beautiful. It should be on the on a book. All right. Keep going. Um going is that it be kind and you will have a successful marriage be kind hey that's also important not being kind being nice because uh words are very important you know the way you treat your couple is very important the way you address each other the way you talk to each other mm -hmm. So if you are rude to your capo, probably it's gonna end up in a bad way. Like it, is that it? Is that it guys? Is that it? Okay, well, thank you very much. Now it's, time to, now it's time to hear group number two. Group number two is uh, Andrea, Claudia, Mary, and Omar. Go ahead, please. Let's hear your advice on a successful marriage. Please go ahead. Share my screen and we're reading. Oh, and all right. Go ahead, please. Okay. In my, uh, first, married. First of all, the most important is love, because the love is 
A coming mean only includes people. Okay, good. All right. Good. Okay. All right. Yeah. Second important point is the communication and truth. For instance, they talk about the problems and share sense in activity with your children and talk about every day. All right. Good. Andrea. In the third point, sexual faithfulness not only involves the body, in addition, or hairs or mind as a result be soulmate. Oh. And Claudia. As a conclusion, the love and commit commitment and another point relate about successful marriage is necessary for couple have a lot of support because with this they overcome all problems and also humbleness and patience humbleness and patience yeah good we have good connectors like as a result in addition oh good and i like this point this point is nice too it not only involves the the body but it also involves the heart yeah that's true like you know probably you haven't slept with another person or you haven't kissed another person but if you text another person oh yeah that, that you're in trouble all right good great ideas guys and th and you're using connectors as well which is very good like it now let's hear uh let's hear group number three and uh, that's jonathan mario and shane I think Aravela was in this group as well. All right, please go ahead. Tell us about it. Okay, I will share my screen and we can read. Okay. Go ahead. First of all, to have a successful marriage, they need to mutual respect. And also it's necessary to have a unstable finance. That sounds right. Okay, keep going. Uh, for instance, do a monthly budget to have healthy finances. Finances, for, yeah. Finances. Furthermore, it's important to have quality time with the family, to have good memories. All right, pretty good. Yeah, let's, let's keep going. In addition to have a successful marriage, it's important to trust each other. Also, share their memories and goals for example they're going to have the home in two years mm -hmm. all right good good let's keep going let's keep going please okay furthermore this is important both agree have things in common. Finally, it's important to help with the housework. They are going to have good moments. All right. Good, good. I like it. Hey, look, this is their paragraph has some ideas about shared responsibility. Shared responsibility is essential in every marriage, I think. Right, so uh, so I, I like that idea too. And, and uh, you also use connectors, which is the most important point of it all. Right, very good, very good. So, uh, so uh, please, I'm gonna ask you if you can, I want you to please uh, send your paragraphs. I want you to please send your paragraphs to the WhatsApp chat in a picture if you can take a picture of your screen a screenshot or just send it any way possible because i will i will check it and and probably give you feedback and uh, ideas all right so please uh go ahead and send it over to my uh to the whatsapp group so we can check it all right another point of the today's uh session is uh Hey, Ramu, uh, Ramu is still here. I thought he was gone. 
So another important point of uh, today's session is uh, working with uh, working with with uh, focus group conversations. All right. Yeah, we we've done this a lot. I know we've done it a lot, but uh, we are going to have like uh, like a last uh, short focus group conversation. All right. So uh, we are going to we're going to work on that. We're gonna do a little wrap up on uh, on uh, these uh, words that you used. All right, we're gonna read uh, a short text and make uh, some uh, short exercises too. But uh, we are going to have that little conversation as well. So before we before we move on to the focus uh, conversation, just let's check on some. Uh, Let's summarize the use of these words, of uh, addition words. All right, uh, so it was here. Look, uh, here we have the ones that I was telling you about. Here we have in addition or additionally. So uh, Omar, can you read about them, please? Okay, excuse me. Um, it's okay. In addition, in addition. Yes. Okay, additionally, in addition, in additionally, are used to give more information about something. Okay, when you write a formal essay, you, you should not start a sentence with the word. And you can use, you can often use in addition or additionally instead of and. All right. Continue? Yeah. yeah, yeah, continue, please. I studied journalism in college. In addition, I have a part time job at the newspaper. Great. I, the second example is I joined the guitar club and the math club in a, in a school. Mm -hmm. Additionally, I went on a camping trip with the debate team. All right, good, very good. Thank you. So you see, we add sentences that uh, are related. And then we have this uh, furthermore and moreover. Uh, Jonathan, can you read about them, please? Okay. Uh, furthermore. Mm -hmm. Furthermore and moreover are also very formal. Um, they are basically, basically mm -hmm. yes. the same. The same as in addition and addition. We often use more, more word and furthermore when we talk about our opinions. Uh, smoking is a bad habit because it is smell bad and it can damage your health. Furthermore, is it is a very expensive habit. Uh, the politician 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 mm -hmm. is too old to be your president. Moreover, he is not trustworthy. 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 Yes. Trustworthy. Students are given to many tests these days. Moreover, they don't have enough free time. Um, human beings, being, beings mm -hmm. must take care of their environment. We should drive more fuel efficient, efficient, efficient. Mm -hmm. efficient cars and we should recycle. Furthermore, we should Stop busyness from pollu polluting. Polluting, uh, yeah. Polluting the environment. Okay, so you see, they are these ideas are very similar. Smoking is a bad habit because it smells bad and it can damage your health. Furthermore, it is a very expensive habit. We're still talking about uh, smoking, right? Still following the same topic. And all we do is add in an extra idea, 
all right? The politician is too old to be our president. Moreover, he's not trustworthy. Trustworthy is like, uh, is a person you can trust, a reliable person. A person that's not trustworthy probably owes you money or probably lies, you know, he's blah, blah, blah. A liar, trustworthy. So the politician is too old. What are we talking about here? Bad characteristics of this politician, all right? And uh, we continue adding one more, but look, full sentence, all right? Full sentence, all right? Then we have this one. Students are giving uh, many tests. Moreover, they don't have enough free time. Two sentences, complete sentences with a subject and a verb. Very good. Like I, I like like uh, like the the ideas you guys have shared so far. And then we also have furthermore, which is the same. Human beings must take care of the environment. We should drive more fuel efficient cars. Furthermore, we should stop businesses from polluting the environment. All right. In, instead of saying end, in lugar de que digan end, para unir oraciones más largas es mejor decir furthermore or moreover. Okay, so it, it, they, are, they mean the same, but, but it, it's just a matter of, of, uh, of uh, style. All right, and it sounds fancier too. All right, voy a pasar la asistencia de nuevo por los que pueda que hayan salido o, o, o los que no están. Okay, good. So checking again, Jose Enrique Salazar, no está presente el día de hoy. Um, vamos a ver. Elías, oh, perdón, Gloria Beatriz, Alegría Orellana tampoco. Elías Samuel Orellana Pérez tampoco. Y Camila Calles Minero tampoco está presente. Okay, muy bien. All right, so, uh, yeah, I was saying, I was saying, yeah, we were talking about uh, connectors again. So, uh, now I have your paragraphs here, all right? I have your paragraphs here. So uh, I'm gonna give you like uh, feedback on your sentences and, uh, and uh, on how they should have been connected. But I think so far I can see a lot of improvement. Like your ideas have, are better now. And I like them. I, li I like the way, the way you're running it. Okay, great. So, uh, I have it here, so we're gonna go in uh, groups again, and uh, all we're doing is receiving feedback. All right, good. Please accept the invitations. Oh, Andrea, you don't have a group. What group were you in? I don't don't get it, teacher. Are you, no, uh, group. who was your group? You don't remember? Homer group, Maria. With Maria, okay. Let's see, so that's number two. They have three people, okay. So I'll send you to Maria, I think. This is the one, please accept the invitation, yes. And uh, Shane, didn't you get the invitation? Yes. yes All right, yes. All right. good. So go ahead and, and meet with your group, Arabella. Mario and Jonathan Shane to you. Oh, okay, all right. So I will, I will send you to uh, I will send you to that group. All right, there you go. You have your invitation sent. Shane, did you get it now? I don't find. Really? Okay, I'll go give them their, their feedback and get back to you later, okay? Yeah. Here, 
Okay, good. Uh, so the first one I have is Mario's. I think yours. Who sent it here? Quien lo mandó? Oh, you still haven't sent it? Quien mandó su para su párrafo? Um, <laughs> you don't nobody. have it anymore? Nobody, nobody. Nobody, nobody did. But uh, no. do you have it? Do you have it? In the text? Yeah, yeah, send it. Send it. Uh, I'll, so I'll go check on another group while in the, in the meantime. Okay. Oh, Aleda has it. I got it now. Mm -hmm. So what makes a marriage successful first it is very important okay between the two also it is important good communication is also very important okay cuando tenemos la palabra el, el sujeto digamos uh, good communication en la segunda oración good communication occasion mm -hmm. is also very important is also very important. There you go. Yes. Oh, uh -huh. Entonces, ahí dice, ustedes tienen, also is important the good communication. Entonces, tiene que ir primero el sujeto. Good communication is also mm -hmm. very important. All right. De ahí, tenemos que poner punto. Furthermore, trust is essential. Be kind and you will have, as a result, a successful marriage. Yeah. Besides empathy. On the other hand, if you're unfaithful, you're going to divorce. Mm -hmm. Aquí es como el de, on the other hand, sería como más, un, más como, un, eh, como una condición, ¿verdad? Y lo, y cuando, when you use on the other hand is when you have two opposite ideas. Like for, for example, uh, successful marriages uh, are honest. Are, are honest to each other. On the other hand, on the other hand, uh, uh, unsuccessful marriages uh, don't have don't have communication. Dos ideas bien opuestas, verdad? Y dos oraciones. Tienen que ser dos oraciones, verdad? Okay. On the other hand, if you're unfaithful, you're going to divorce. Yeah. So the, just those those uh, little details, all right. But other than that, it, it's it's good and uh, it has nice vocabulary, too. All right, great. I'll go check on the other groups. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. All right. Over here, I have uh, Omar sent it. Okay. It's the the color one. So marriage, first of all. I'm gonna check the observations, all right? So marriage, first of all, the most important is love. The love is a commitment, okay? Probably you can start saying like, uh, in a successful marriage or in a marriage, first of all, the most important, in a marriage, okay? Uh, so love and commitment, only include two people. I like it. Second important point is the communication and trust. For instance, they talk about their problems, share their senses. I think uh, here what you meant probably is, uh, what you meant is their feelings, como sus sentimientos, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. senses, all right? Entonces, en ese caso sería feelings. Feelings. Yeah, oh, feelings. they share their feelings. And the third point is... Oh. Yes, so I'm, I'm just going over it. In the third point, sexual faithfulness no, not only involves the body, in addition, our hearts. Uh, I, I think here you can say uh, also our hearts. You can use also, not uh, instead of in addition. Cuando usamos in addition, es para dos oraciones completas. Okay, so um, it's got to be uh, instead of in addition, probably also, or as well, all right? Um, let me see. Our hearts, our mind, and as a result, be soulmates. Probably that idea at the end can be get rid of. 
quizás la última idea queda como colgando lo que dice de soulmates. Quizás queda como un poco extra. Yeah, it does. It's a little, como que es un poquito salido eso. But, all right. Then as a conclusion, love and commitment to one another uh, relate to a successful marriage. It's necessary for a couple to have a lot of support when they overcome all problems. All problems. Okay. Quizás hasta problems está bien. De ahí como que queda una palabra así como, como, like extra. Quedan como así como tipo colgando. Okay. But other than that, guys, I think it was, it was very nice. It was a very nice job. Thank you very much. All right. I'll just go check in the other group very quickly. And that's it. More to... Eh, hey, compartir con Adela, Ajá. I, I've got yours here in the text, so don't worry. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to read it and give you observations, okay? Your, your paragraph is in the group, so I have it, don't worry. So, first of all, they need... Uh, mutual respect and also it's it is necessary to have a stable a final final financial stability in this case we have to have financial stability financial uh, stability this is only a par of terms okay for instance do a monthly budget to have a healthy finance furthermore it's important to have Quality time with the family to have good memories. In addition to have a successful marriage, it is important to trust each other. Also share dreams and goals. Furthermore, it is important uh, that both. I think I said it is important that. It is important that. That. It is important that uh, both agree. Uh, it is important hang on, that both agree and have things in common. And finally, it's important to help with the housework. They're going to have good moments. Okay, yeah, like it. Very good, very good. It's okay, a very nice, part. great ideas. All right, I think we're gonna return to the main session. All right, Shane, welcome back. Sorry, uh, we're returning to the main session. All right, let's wait for our classmates to get back. Okay, teacher. All right, good. Uh, I think you received a text about uh, about having some extra time today. Yes, uh, yeah. 10.30. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, actually 10.25, to be honest. That's the, that's the time frame that we agreed on. But okay. anyways, all right, good guys. Uh, yeah. Uh, we were we were you guys received a message about staying uh half an hour longer today well i know it's just but uh well if you can if you can stay if you can't if you have to what can you do at this time anyways if you have to do something else leave. Something, <laughs> yeah leave <laughs> yeah if you have to do something else that's okay you can leave I understand. You don't have to say it. It's not meant. We can watch the movie. What? Oh yeah, a movie. What? What movie would you choose? If you if you chose a movie to watch. What movie would you like to watch if you chose one, Andrea? Yeah, to to watch a movie. Yeah. Shrek. <laughs> Annabelle. 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 Yeah. Therapy, <laughs> llamada. Uh, oh yeah, sleepover. Haha, uh -huh, sleepover. Yeah. And we, we we can make we can watch something, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> That's insane. Yeah. <laughs> why not? Why not? You know, have fun with, with something that. very short and maybe in English, and you can make a um questions later. Later, I don't know. Yeah, I I had <laughs> some something about uh about uh uh. A product testing institute for kids, but it, it's and also I found uh, something very interesting about. Uh, let me see. I have a text here. 
yeah just it won't be for long all right it won't be it won't be for long so we're gonna check at some fun uh focus group uh moments probably mm -hmm. uh little unusual ones and uh also also we are going to have a little conversation about a phone all right about mm -hmm about uh, what you guys like to have in a phone, all right? So let's see, let's see first the, let's first uh, check on the video. Our company has a new strategic initiative to increase market penetration, maximize brand loyalty, and enhance intangible assets. In pursuit of these objectives, we've started a new project for which we require seven red lines. I understand your company can help us in this matter. Of course. Walter here will be the project manager. Walter, we can do this, can't we? Yes, of course. Anderson here is our expert in all matters related to the drawing of red lines. We've brought him along today to share his uh, professional opinion. Nice to meet you. Well, you all know me. This is Justine, our company's design specialist. Hello. We need you to draw seven red lines, all of them strictly perpendicular. Some with green ink and some with transparent. Can you do that? No, I'm afraid... Let's not rush into any hasty answers, Anderson. Uh, the task has been set and needs to be carried out. At the end of the day, you are an expert. The term red line implies the color of the line to be red. To draw a red line with green ink is, well, if it's not exactly impossible, it's pretty close to being impossible. What does that even mean? Impossible? I mean, <laughs> I, I mean it is possible there are some people, say, suffering from color blindness, for whom the color of the lines doesn't really make a difference. But I'm quite sure that the target audience of your project doesn't consist solely of such people. <laughs> so in principle, this is possible. I'll simplify. A uh, line as such can be drawn with absolutely any ink, but if you want to get a red line, you need to use red ink. What if we draw them with blue ink? Mm -hmm. It still won't work. If you use blue ink, you'll get blue lines. And what exactly did you mean when you talked about the transparent ink? Mm, how to better explain? I'm sure you know what transparent means. Uh, yes, I do. And what a red line means. I hope I don't need to explain to you. <laughs> of course not. But you need to draw a red line with transparent ink. Could you describe what you imagined the end result would look like? Oh, come on, Anderson. What have we got here? Kindergarten. No, I'm just trying to no, get no, Let's no. not waste our time with these unproductive quarrels. The task has been set. The task is plain and clear. Now, if you have any specific questions, then go ahead. You're the expert here. All right, let's leave aside the color for the moment. Uh, you had something there also relating to perpendicularity. Seven lines, all strictly perpendicular. To what? Um, to everything amongst themselves. I assumed you know what perpendicular lines are like. Of course he does. He's an expert. Two lines can be perpendicular. All seven can be simultaneously perpendicular to each other. I'll, I'll show you. This is a line, right? Uh, yes. And another, is it perpendicular to the first line? Well... It, yes, it is perpendicular. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Wait, wait, I'm not done. And a third one, is it perpendicular to the first line? Uh, yes, it is. But it doesn't cross the second line. They're both parallel. Not perpendicular. Oh, suppose so. There it is. Two lines can be perpendicular. Can I have a pen? How about this? This is a triangle. It's definitely not perpendicular lines. And there are three, not seven. Why are they blue? Indeed, I wanted to ask that myself. 
Uh, I have a blue pen with me. This was just a demonstration. That's the problem. Your lines are blue. Draw them with red ink. It won't solve the problem. Well, how do you know before you've tried? <laughs> let's draw them with red ink, then let's see. Hmm? I, I, I don't have a red pen with me, but I'm completely certain that with red ink, the result will still be the same. But didn't you tell us earlier that you could only draw red lines with red ink? In fact, yes, I've written that down here. And now you want to draw them with blue ink. Do you want us to call these red lines? <laughs> I think I understand. You're not, you, you, you're not talking about the colour now, right? You're talking about that, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, perpendic uh, per perpendicularity, <laughs> yes! That's it. Now you've confused everyone. So what exactly is stopping us from doing this? Geometry. Just ignore it. We have a task. Seven red lines. It's not 20, it's just seven. Anderson, I understand you're a specialist of a narrow field. You don't see the overall picture. But surely it's not a difficult task to draw some seven lines. Exactly. Suggest a solution that any fool can criticize. Uh, no offense. But you're an expert. You should know better. OK. Uh, let me draw you two perfectly perpendicular red lines. And I will draw the rest with transparent ink. They'll be invisible, but I'll draw them. Would this suit us? Yes, this will suit us. Uh, uh, yes, but at least a couple with green ink. Oh, and, and I have another question, if I may. Uh, can you draw one of the lines in the form of a kitten? A uh, uh, what? In the form of a kitten? Market research tells us our users like cute animals. It would be really great if we could... No. Uh, but, but why? Look, I can, of course, draw you a cat. I'm no artist, but I can give it a try, but it won't be a line anymore. It'll be a cat. A line and a cat, these are two different things. A kitten, not a cat, but a kitten. They're little, cute, cuddly. Cats, on the other hand, It won't are... make a difference. Anderson, at least hear her out. She hasn't even finished speaking and you're already saying no. I, I got the idea, but it's impossible to draw a line in the form of a cat. Done. What about a bird? So, where do we stop? What are we doing? Uh, seven red lines, uh, two with red ink, two with green ink, and the rest with transparent. Did I understand correctly? Yes. Excellent. In which case, that's everything, right? Oh, I almost forgot. We also have our red balloon. Do you know if you could inflate it? What do I have to do with balloons? It's red. Anderson, can you or can you not do this? A simple question. As such, I can, of course, but... Excellent. Organize a business trip. We'll cover the expenses, go over to their location, inflate the balloon. Well, this is very productive. Thank you all. Okay, now this meeting, this meeting was a bit awkward, right? It was a bit strange. Now, uh, has it ever happened to you in your job that sometimes you are being asked or your, your management asks you to do things that make no sense? What was funny about the, the job that this man had to do? What was uh, strange about the job that he had to do? What was unusual about it? What was the what was the task that they that he had to do? Draw the red line with the uh, invisible ink. <laughs> with invisible ink. Now you draw you draw two blue lines with a red with red ink. Sorry, is it possible? That happens sometimes at jobs, right? And that that was a that was a fun, like a like a little funny sketch about uh, a meeting, you know that that can happen at work too. So if you ever felt uh, if you felt related to it, welcome. You're not the only one. Have you had an ex a similar experience in your in your uh, in your career? Like somebody tells you, okay, now. You're going to do this, but, uh, and they give you a strange condition. Has it happened to you? Has it happened to you? No, no, not yet. Well, you know, thank God it, that it hasn't happened to yeah. you. Uh, re really, in which way did it happen to you, Iris? 
Um, uh, no, with my team, but sometimes the customers give me or, or need something is not ready with the time or the or the um, medios. We don't have to. It's it's impossible. Okay. And and I, I and I stay like the guy in the video. It's, 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 no, no, but I don't understand because it's, okay, I, I only can listen the ideas, but I know I can't do it. It's impossible to 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 comp, uh, to follow their request, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's happened to me as well, and sometimes, yeah, as you said like designers with clients yeah you designers sometimes sometimes make beautiful designs and then they take it to the client they go like no i don't like it change this change the other so what do you want all right yeah that happens too all right now uh we had pending one short conversation or one short uh focus group conversation for uh for this class and uh we're gonna run one about uh about uh, about phones about mobile phones so we will talk in small groups for a while uh i and i want you to please in each group you have to name a group leader all right and this group leader will select only the most important questions or the questions that he considers the best. You are going to answer the questions, all right? Good, and uh, let me share with you, let me share the questions with you. They will be, uh, they will be in your uh, WhatsApp, in your WhatsApp chat. So, they are uh, they are about uh, mobile phones. They're about phones. So answer them with your group. I will also send you the link so you can have it in the chat. And the, a group leader will only select the best questions to talk about. All right, fine. So let's go ahead and separate. All right, good. Here we go. Please accept the invitation. Questions are in the group and they will also be in this in this uh, chat. Marabella, join a group, please. Marabella. Mamá, ¿es la Sí, mi amor, ya, ya no vamos a ir. Uh, the, I, I read, says, mm -hmm. welcome. Today we will be discussing various aspects of mobile phones. Mm -hmm. Who here has a mobile phone? How long have you had one? All right, good. In uh, my case, I've had the this one, my Samsung S8 for three years. Wait, two years. Yeah, two years. Yeah, all right, keep going, please. You are very cuidadoso, teacher. <laughs> Not really, not really, but but I, I still have it. <laughs> it's all broken, <laughs> but it's still around. All right, how about you guys? In my case, for one year and half. All right, good. And uh, in, in, have... in my case, I have for two years my phone. And, and what kind of phone is it, uh, Romulo? 
And it's uh, S S eight. That Samsung. Samsung S eight. Yeah, same uh -huh. here. Okay. <laughs> all right. Very good. Very good. Like it. All right. Fine. I'll go check on the other group. So you continue. Uh, it is you select the most important questions. All right. Okay. All right. Fine. How often? How often do you get a new phone? <laughs> yeah all right so yeah we were with the uh, phones yeah phones so who starts um let me see do you have it there Question number three is uh, interesting. You like number three? How often do you use your phone? For what purpose do you use? For what purpose do you use your phone? Wow. I I don't know. I use it all the time. What about you? What about you, Claudia? How often do you use it? Mm, not much, but Really? Yeah, I use yeah, it. I use more for in in WhatsApp. Okay, so that's the the mm. app you use the most. Yes. All right, I like it. And uh, how about you, Omar? Omar is sleeping. <laughs> yeah. It's weird. Probably oh, it drain all of his energy. Uh, he's got he's got escape, I think. <laughs> yeah, he Omar. Knock knock. Omar. Knock knock. Are you there? The man is gone, huh? Yeah, so where were we? Yeah. Uh how about you, Maria? When do you use how often do you use your phone and what for? Um, I use all day. You use it all day. Yes. Um, and what for? I, yeah. What for? Like the reason, the purpose. I use it for call. If for calls, you use it for plane. Or call, what? Uh, mail, and WhatsApp, and oh, okay, message, um, and my distraction. Um, for Instagram. Fun. Oh, <laughs> Instagram. What yes. kind of uh, what kind of uh, accounts do you follow on Instagram? Only friends, or or do you fo follow like no, fitness no, people? No. Friends and food and and exercise. Mm -hmm. Aha! There you go. Yeah, me too. Me too. I I follow mostly restaurants. And uh, in the music, uh, musicians, artists, okay. and and mm -hmm. uh, and uh, actors and actresses. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And models too. All right. Good. So uh, let's see. Omar, are you there? Boy, <laughs> you really took a trip. Omar. Are you there? Okay. Well, you guys, you guys can. Sorry, sorry. I have an emergency with a, a <laughs> your cat. Your cat is your a cat fight. Was was no. that a cat fight? No, es un es un vecino que se ha quedado fuera de la casa y entonces está preguntando que no hay nadie en la casa si deja la moto. Así. Pero igual. <laughs> Okay. That's no. okay. Well, anyways, we're we're about to finish. Don't worry. So yes, thanks for staying, Omar. We appreciate uh, thank it. Thank you. And, uh, bye, and, and Omar. say say hi to your neighbor. Okay, bye. <laughs> All right, Giggers. Uh, so so where were we here? We were talking about uh, yeah. Then um. Oh, yeah, this. How often do you get a new phone? Maybe um, every 
two years. Every or... two years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, probably that's my average. That's my average too. I get a mm -hmm. new phone every two years or so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, great. What about you, Mary? How often do you get a new phone? No, Claudia. Oh, Claudia, sorry. Me until until I broke. <laughs> until you break the old one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, good, good. I like that one. Like that one too. Very good. Very good. So, uh, all right. Let's keep checking. Let's keep checking on the rest of the groups. All right. You, you girls continue talking and, and, and discussing those questions. Okay. Great. Oh, and then I know the styles, the model, and everything. And I go just to take. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes, in, in my case it's the same because uh, for a long time I I, I use uh, the service and for the the same company and they try to promote or when there uh, exists uh, a new font to try to sell me <laughs> or to you. get a a packet or. or yeah, uh, they they try to 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 I I I get to uh, change the idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good. Aleida. Mm, in my case, I visit many online stores, <laughs> and <laughs> I watch many reviews in YouTube. Get back a bit. Before for buy. Before you buy it, all right, like it, yeah. like it. And for me, it's 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 easy because I I have my um, service um, with the Claro company for um, sixteen years. I have the same number. Wow. And and I I I have a contract, and only I change uh, every uh, eighteen months. I change the mobile phone. Oh. And I cannot re re renovar the contract. Renew, mm -hmm. Renew the contract and change the, the mobile phone. Oh, I see. That that's a good that's a good way to sometimes keep... I do for fun and they send me the the things. I don't go to the to the store. They came by my, my office and Send me the contract and send me the phone. That is good it's, as well. It's, it's even easy. better. It's easy and fast. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and you save time. Very simple. Very simple. Yeah. Uh -huh. And quickly. Yeah. Yes, it's this is like... the most important. Mm -hmm. Because we Correct. don't we doesn't have a time to go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'm going to for the um, something problem at the at the office of claro and i lost uh, four five hours waiting True. only waiting yes True. it's oh. terrible it's terrible <laughs> uh -huh. You're not the only one yeah it happens to me as well sometimes you 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 lose money you lose time you waste a lot of time hours and hours sitting down mm -hmm. Yeah, I am and watching and watching the TV. And the same thing, <laughs> and what, what is it? Same in the TV, the only same the thing, the same message. Thing. Yeah, the same <laughs> thing over and over. Yeah, true. <laughs> Hateful things, right? Great, great. very good. Uh, so I guess uh, now uh, I'm going to check on one more group and then we go back and, and, and wrap it up. Okay. All right. Your new, your new phone. Oh. In this moment, I don't plan to uh, get new phone. Uh, and 
ni a largo plazo. And not in the long run. Long run. Okay. Not, in, not in the long run. In the long run. Okay. In the long run. All right. Good. Good. Not in the long run. So not soon. Not soon. Not anytime soon. You don't plan to get any new phone. All right. That's very good. All right, guys. I think we will return to the main session just to close. Okay. Just to say goodbye and give some final advice. Hello guys, uh, thanks for staying. Uh, I appreciate that very much. And although it's probably not the best idea on earth, but uh, I, I think it's, it was very kind of you. And uh, one thing I want you to, I want to remind everybody about is uh, completing your platform, okay? Unit two. I think unit two and not sure if midterm goes on as well. No me acuerdo si midterm va después también en esa, en esa, misma, en esa misma semana. Entonces, eh, lo que corresponde a esta semana hay que, hay que completarlo para que... El, res, el resumen, perdón. Ajá, exacto. Uh -huh. Sí, 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 es, también, sí se termina hasta ahí. Uh -huh. Ajá, también va con el, o sea, va la unidad 2 y creo que midterm, si no me equivoco, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh -huh. ajá, hagan las dos cosas para que podamos subir las notas para mañana. Muchos ya avanzaron. And I appreciate it. Así que si usted eh, ya está a medio camino, termínelo pronto, mañana hasta el mediodía, para que lo podamos subir sus notas. ¿Ok? Teacher. Yes. And we can take the notes or not. Uh, and then... They come, uh, they aparecen automáticamente ahí. Bueno, tendría que darle los resultados automáticamente. Pero también puede revisarlos usted en la, ahí mismo en la plataforma. You can see your grades. Yeah, uh -huh. okay. yeah, you, you Teacher, can... hasta, hasta qué, hasta qué, hasta dónde llegamos para eh, estar la... completo. Hasta, es... hasta el 3, mm -hmm. hasta, ya el 3 ya, ya no. Ah, mm -hmm. eh, solo el 2 tienen, el, la 2 tienen que hacer y creo que también tienen un midterm. Ahí. Y termina el midterm, ah, ok. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Entonces, eh, esas esos son las las unidades que debemos de completar. Les voy a poner una, en una foto lo que, se tiene, lo que tienen que hacer. All right? Please, please. All right. Everybody, you are, you've been wonderful today. I hope you have a good night. And I'll see you Monday. All right? Enjoy your okay. week. Be happy. Happy weekend. Bye. You too. Goodbye. Goodbye, teacher. Thank you. Goodbye, good everybody. Bye. 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 Good night. Bye. Good night.